Wendy. Have a seat, everybody, except for you. How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? <laughs> Good. Okay, so I have a huge crush on DJ Booth, and <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I just can't help myself. Tall, dark, handsome, great complexion. I'm down with the swirl. Okay. Okay. I don't see any ring on his finger. So I was wondering. No, Booth is, is not married. Is is it okay that I approach him after the show? Well, <laughs> well now hold on, hold on. So, what's your name? Where are you from? I'm Samantha, and I'm from Syosset. Syosset. So yes. that means that if something really did pop off, that you all could keep this going. Oh, for sure. Okay. <laughs> well, how you doing? <laughs> she said, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, oh. I'd be better if you said yes. Okay. So here, here's the thing. Uh -huh. How about if I send you all for lunch and drinks after this? Oh. Okay, yeah. no. There's this place near our studio. It's called the Belgian Beer Cafe. <gasps> Booth likes to eat. Booth likes to drink. Yeah. Neither one of you have to bring your wallets because I'm paying this time. <laughs> okay? Good luck. Okay. Go. Doing, Wendy. Right, my name well. is Jacqueline. I work with this woman on my job who's very nice and friendly to me. My birthday is next week. Holla. So <laughs> <laughs> she has invited me to a special event. So I think this woman has a crush on me. Oh. How do I get out of it? It's hard event? to tell when girls have crushes on you. And girl, she Cause... she is really spending. So <laughs> I just want to back out from this event, but I don't want to hurt her feelings. So how Are you gay? No! Just, <laughs> I'm straight as an arrow. Just, just <laughs> asking, just asking. Um, so you, you think that she is crushing on you as opposed to just wanting your friendship? I think she wants to ask me out. So why don't you return the oh. gifts and have an adult conversation with her? But if you accuse her of being gay and she's not gay... <laughs> She's gonna flip, but I, I but I do think that you should return the gifts under the guise of it's not feeling appropriate, right? You know. Yeah. Um, but they're good gifts, though. I don't. Care. <laughs> okay. Okay, Wendy. Okay. And then have the conversation, but not at work. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. You. Very well, Jacqueline. And, and Jacqueline, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. How you doing, Wendy? Good. Where are you from? Uh, Nashville. Uh, I was going to say someplace where people ride horses. <laughs> yes. Uh, ride something. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. As you know, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up, and, and me and my partner have been together about four or five years, and I tend to go all out. Uh, but we just moved to New York. Okay. Money's a little tight, and I'm thinking more of takeout and a cuddle this time. Am I wrong? No. No. Money is tight. Money's you just tight. moved to New York. Yeah. Takeout and cuddling is perfect. Do you think that your partner will understand that? Uh. <laughs> well, but 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 you realize that money is one of the number one things that couples fight about. So if he can't understand for one Valentine's Day when you're in a new city, expensive as heck it costs yeah, yeah. here, then. I still have money for takeout. Get the takeout and get the cuddle, <laughs> yes, okay? Yes. Very well. And welcome to New York. Okay. There's a woman in our audience who had sex on the first date and hasn't heard from the guy since. More ask Wendy now. So before the break, there was a young lady who s slept with him on the first date and he hasn't called. Yes, hello, Wendy. My name is Olivia. How you doing? How you doing? So I went to the bar a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I met this guy. Conversations kind of sparked. So he asked me on a date. Uh -huh. During our date, during the ending of the date, we had sex. Oh. But it's Everybody's been... grown. Don't yeah. judge. Don't judge. It's been two weeks and he hasn't called. My question is, should I call him first? No. Oh. No, there, there, are re there are many reasons that a guy won't call after having sex the first time. And it's just, you know, you have to be grown enough to take the chance. Because there are a lot of guys who have sex the first time. Next thing you know, they're married and it's a happy relationship. So you All can't right. always say... Yeah. I would never be the girl to say, don't have sex on the first date. But what I will say is, it, the sex was either whack... <laughs> I didn't think it was that. <laughs> it, it, it was, it, there was something about you that mm -hmm. turned him off, and that's why he hasn't called. Because oh. normally, two, don't you think if he hasn't called in two weeks, he doesn't care? Yeah. Yeah. 
don't don't worry about it. You live and you learn. Okay. All right. Doing? Very well. Hi, Wendy. My name is Natifa. How you doing? Um, I'm doing okay, Natifa. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. My my boyfriend is 44 years old. And how old are you, dear? I'm 24. Do you have children? No. Or have you ever been married? No. Oh yeah. Do you have a job? Yes. Okay. Just wanted to be sure. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Does he have children? He has three. Okay. By how many different babies' mothers? One. He used to be married. Oh, okay. How long did, did that go on, the marriage? Seven years. Okay. And how long has he been divorced? Oh. About seven years. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, go ahead. Well, my parents are in town from Atlanta, and they want to meet him. All right. So, thank God they don't live in the same town as you. <laughs> well... I'm afraid because he's 20 years older than me. Yes, you yes. need to be afraid. And you know what? And you know what? As a parent, I could take it if you were my daughter, if he's 20 years older than you with no kids and no divorce under his belt. But the idea that he's lived a fully grown man's life, dear, and you are, look how you're standing, like you're, you still got more woman to come into. You, you understand what I'm saying? Look, look, there's nothing wrong with being 24, but if you, if this is your and how long have you been with him? Three years. Okay, three years. And he's never met your parents. No. Is he pressuring you? Well, because they're in town a little. Yes. Okay. Um, I would m guard your grill and knuckle up because your parents are going to give you the business. <laughs> but if this is your man of three years and if you love him, then you've got to own that love. You can't stand like a little girl. You can't talk like a little girl. You've got to own that love, okay? Quite frankly, I'm against it, but you're not my daughter. <laughs> you, you understand? I understand. Okay. Very well, honey. Oh, wait, hold on for a second. Clap in the audience if you'd be fine with this. And this, and, and this is a, a liberal show, so just take that and chew on it for a moment. Doing. Hi, Wendy. My name's David. How are you doing? Where are you from? Long Island, New York. Uh huh. I like your shoes. Oh, thank you. And your sweater. Thank you so much. What is the problem? Okay, so last week I had plans with, plans with my friend to go shopping, and I canceled on her last minute because I just can't deal with her anymore. She's been getting on my nerves lately. And then the store that we were supposed to go to, I avoided, and I went to another store, and I bumped into her. We haven't spoken since, and I've been trying to call her, and she has been, like, screening my calls. What should I do? Um... Text her and tell her that you all need to talk and then explain to her whatever is getting on your nerves. Don't use that phrase, though, getting on my nerves. Right. You, you need to have uh, what they call a coming together moment. Okay. Okay? All right. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. How you doing? Hey, Wendy. How you doing? <laughs> so, I'm Derek, and I'll be 30 in less than a month. Okay. So, I want to celebrate by traveling outside of the country. I've never traveled outside of the country. Uh -huh. But the problem is, my friends don't have the funds to go with me. Mm -hmm. Like you, I'm afraid of the killer, so I'm afraid to travel alone. But should I just stop being a baby and just go by myself? No, I've traveled by myself, self, for that very reason. Mm -hmm. My friends didn't have the funds. This is back when I was a bachelorette. Okay. Friends didn't have the funds. Friends didn't have the vacation time. But mostly it was about the funds. And that's why I learned to travel by myself. I love my own company. Okay. I say do it if you'd like to. Okay. And make sure that your friends, if they are going to come along, that you're not picking up anybody's tab for not anything. Happy. I'm too broke for that. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday Thank in advance. You. We've got time for one more quickie. My name is Jody. How you doing? Wow. <laughs> Love it. Thank you. I have a friend for over 10 years, and she has a unibrow. <laughs> I'm the type of friend who would want my friends to tell me if I needed to change something. They talk about her behind her back, and I feel horrible. So should we have an intervention and tell her she needs a waxing? Not all of you. I think you, Jody, because you seem like the more sensible one. Okay. And you know what you do? You invite her over. You get the wine going. Yeah. <laughs> Because that'll soften the blow of a silent insult. Okay. But you're not insulting her. You're going to say, you know. <laughs> did you ever think about doing that? And maybe you'll have some tweezers right there. No, <laughs> no okay. numb her up. Just you know, we've, we've all done mm -hmm. beauty treatments on our friends. Yes. That is not a thing. Yes. Do it for her. Okay. Thank you It'll so be much. fun. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Jody. Thanks for being here. We, we meet again. Yes. How Hi, you doing? Wendy. How you doing? <laughs> Good. Uh, Wendy, I got a 19-year-old daughter. She's dating a 30-year-old guy. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I met the guy. He's not a bad guy. 
But uh, I want my daughter to finish school. She's going to college. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm the cool dad. So, <laughs> and I want to stay as the cool dad. Yeah. So I really don't know what to do. Should I uh, confront her or should I just let it go? Uh, this is worth, I know, this is cute. It's worth the conversation. Yeah. Because I can't figure out what a 30 year old man has in common with a 19 year old. Well, that's what I'm Not, saying. I mean, there are a lot of very smart 19 year olds, but at 19, you're just figuring things out in life. Right. At 30, you're thinking of getting a wife, and you, it's a different conversation. Right. Um, I would definitely, I wouldn't confront her, but I would ha definitely have one good conversation with her. Okay. And just let her know. When a 30-year-old guy, not for nothing, and yes, I am judging, <laughs> when a 30-year-old guy is interested in a 19-year-old girl, it says to me that he's got arrested development. Right. Do you understand? Uh -huh. Good okay. luck, Dad. Thank and you. you are cool. You're here. <laughs> My name is Empress. How you doing? Empress. <laughs> yeah, it's different. Um, so... <laughs> So me and my boyfriend been together for three years, okay. right? Mm -hmm. So recently he got a text message from another woman, and it said, "How do you know?" Well, you picked up his phone. Yeah, I picked up his phone. Okay. So what was it like in the shower or something? Mm, yeah, he was downstairs doing something. Okay. Something okay. like that. Okay. So it said, um, "Oh, don't worry, I won't get too attached." So I confronted him about it, and he said, "Oh, it's just a friend from college. It's nothing." So now I don't really trust him. What should I do? And you've been with him for two years? Yeah, almost three. Uh, it could have been a friend from college talking about somebody that she's... I mean, I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. No, right. However, keep your eyes on him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, and don't let him um, see this show, otherwise he's going <laughs> to... Otherwise, look. Otherwise, listen. He's going to put a lock on his phone, and then you'll never be able to get the intel that you need. Right. All right. Good luck, Empress. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing, Wendy? My name is Wendy. Oh. I know, right? Um, I have a sexual feel going on. I want to date a man and a woman at the same time, but when I tell the guy, he's like, no. And I'm like, what do you mean, no? So would it be bad if I go behind his back and do it? Because I don't think he's cheating because he's with a girl. Right? Are you, is she kidding me with this? No. Okay, so you're sexually fluid. Right. And how long have you been dating the guy? Uh, you know, it's just on and off type of thing. So, but how long has it been on and off? Like a year, six months? Uh, no, it's less than that. Less than six months? Mm-hmm. So he's not your, he doesn't have a title. He's not your boyfriend. No, he's just, you know, a playmate. He, he takes you for a dinner. Yeah. And then you have the sex. Now, we're adults. Come on now. I mean, what else do you call he, it? He, he takes you for the dinner and then you have the sex. Yeah. Well, listen, listen, you're a grown woman. As far as I'm concerned, you can see as many people as you want. Woo! All right. However, what I, what I will tell you is, um, for the record, same-sex sex is still cheating. Is it? Yes, Wendy. All right, Wendy. I love your hair, Wendy. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. How are you doing? Hi, Wendy. My name is Catherine. How are you doing? Hi, Catherine. Well, my boyfriend broke up with me two months ago, and now he wants me to be his friend with benefits. Oh. Yes, with benefits. I've never had this kind of friendship before, but he's so hot, and the sex is so good. <laughs> yes, I know. Wait a minute now. But I, I just don't know what should I do, from girlfriend to booty call. Okay, wait. Do you have children together? No. How long were you with, were you with him prior? Like five months. Oh. <laughs> Girl, he's never been anything but a booty call. Five months, that, that, that's a booty call. How yeah. old are you, Catherine? 28. 28? Yeah. Get it in. <laughs> How you doing? Hi, Wendy. I'm Estelle. How you doing? Hi, Estelle. How can I help? Well, every year my family gets together for Thanksgiving and I do a big meal. Okay. Um, the person that usually helps me is not going to be with us this year. She decided to join her own family. Okay. I don't do paper plates. I don't do sp plastic forks. Who are like you judging? To... Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. I did it for many, I many years. I love a paper plate, honey. Oh, honey, look, I did it for many, many years. Okay. And I think I just want a little, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit. Yes. I so don't. every year we get together, and the person that's usually helping me is not there this year. How right. do I get my adult children to step in and clean up after themselves? They take my tub. They're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> love, love, love. Yeah. Uh, Beautiful family. But they're just but, a little lazy when it comes yeah, to the Yeah, they eat everything. They take all my Tupperware. They're like, oh, Mom, this is great. What are we taking home? And then the mess is there. Well, so what do I do? 
This is what we do okay. when when we're getting close to you know having people over. You know when you order the Chinese food and they have those plastic containers, you start saving them so then that way that's what people take and then they can keep it. That's number one. Okay. And then the other thing is um, talk to your adult kids. Let them understand. You know, mom needs a break. I'm and tired. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and so everybody clean up after themselves and help out. Okay. And don't take my Tupperware. Exactly. Thank yeah. you, Wendy. You're very welcome, Michelle. <laughs> I'm Catherine. How you doing? Hi, Catherine. How you doing? Um, I have um, a little issue with a friend who is dear to me. I love her. She's wonderful and fun. But when we go out, she's consistently rude to wait staff, and it's it comes as a shock because she's such a nice person and she's so great. And we'll be having a great time, and they'll come over and seat us, and they'll say, "Hey, do you know what you'd like to have?" And she'll say, "Give us five minutes. We just got seated." <laughs> so I'm thinking. What can I do to address that without upsetting her? Because she's a great person. Well, do you know how much spit she's probably eaten? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Alrighty. we talk about this a lot here on the show. You cannot be rude to people who serve you in restaurants. Yeah. Um, what is she, a big tipper, so she feels like she's a big shot and, you know? Uh, I don't know if that's really it. Yeah. I'm not quite sure, but it's Catherine, surprising. have the conversation. Because it sounds like... You want to go out to eat with her. I do. I mean, if you don't go out to eat with her, what else can you do? Go bowling or roller skating or something? Uh, eating out's probably a better option. It's now. always the it's, Yeah. Yeah. Talk to her. All right. And let her know. You seem like a nice enough woman. Yeah. I'll so try. It's okay. not going to come off. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to her. Oh, okay. There's, there's a man in the audience who's tired of his mother forcing him to like her boyfriend. There's We've more Ask more Wendy next. Ask Wendy. Hi, Wendy. I'm Michael. How you doing? How you doing, Michael? <laughs> so I'm 31. My mom has a boyfriend. He's 33. And uh, <laughs> with the holidays coming up, you know, I feel like she keeps forcing us to have a relationship that I, I, I'm really not ready to have right now. Yes. Uh, she wants me to be his friend or whatever. Um, every time I'm home, she leaves us in a room alone, try to have conversation. And it's just Where really does mom home. live? Where do you live? How close? I live in Maryland. She lives in South Carolina. Perfect. Yeah. But I'm, 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 but I'm moving to South Carolina. Oh. Yeah. Well, how old is mom? Just humor me. My mom is 54. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and how long has she been dating this? It's been a year. A year. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she loves him. I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, talk to your mom about it. You seem civilized I, I enough. I have talked to her, but she seems, again, she's forcing something. And... Well, pull out your device like everyone else does. You know, when you're trying to disconnect with somebody, you can be in the same room with them. But if you pull out your device, then all of a sudden you're busy. You don't have to put up with him all the time. You're not, like, even when you move to South Carolina, yeah. you're not going to be up under your mother. Are you living in her house? No, not at all. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just keep smiling and humor your mom, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Very well. Very well.